Ladies and gentlemen, Yay. we're joined by our fearless producer. He might be yakking in behind the, um, the TV camera screens, machines that are in front of us. But before we even start, if you enjoy this content at all, we please send us puppies? What? All the puppies. All the puppies you have. We love puppies. Or click subscribe. I kind of want a mini beagle. And the bell. And the bell. And like. Yeah. Because Jonathan wants a mini beagle. I don't even know what that is. It's a beagle, but it's smaller. They're already small. They're, but it's even smaller. I don't think it's a teacup beagle. I think it's a... Maybe it's called a pocket beagle. I don't know. My kids <laughs> want one. And I'm kind of on board. Everyone's talking about shortages right it's now. It's true. And so we've sort of chosen not to for a little bit, just to wait until more shortages pile up. But also to talk about, you know, what, how many tubes, records, chips for your computers, and not your computers, but your pedals, the things you press on, not in your car, but on your guitar stomp boxes. All this stuff is in short supply. But most importantly, diabetes. <laughs> I just love when you talked about that. It diabetes. So Oh, anyway, By sorry. the way, if you suffer from that, we are not making light. I just think that is a hilarious pronunciation of the yeah, word. Yeah, we had a whole video where we talked um, about it the other time, and it was just, I just can't get over it. Just last time I saw Johnny, it made me so happy. Um, he's an idiot. I still can't believe you've never seen that commercial. I, I don't watch enough TV. I'm telling you, I think, I think I've only seen it in my grandparents' house, though, so I'm pretty sure it has to be like, you know. So the tubes are short right. out there. That's How true. often do you change your tubes? Is it like strings every week? Uh, about every three weeks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, we're poor <sighs> again. Christy, I just spent $500 on tubes and have it on my Amstree bias. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, um, I mean, I realistically change my tubes. Let me see. Never. <laughs> never. I never change my tubes unless something fails. Well, well so generally, you know, I'm on the, the boat of, yeah, when something goes wrong, when your amp starts making funny noises or losing volume or something is noticeably wrong, I would I would go probably have the tubes changed. I will say when I was playing like Broadway, like every single night and I was running my amps a little hotter, you know, that seemed to happen about every year and a half, every couple of years. And you just said something key right there. He's running his amps hotter. Yeah. So if you're playing at bedroom levels. Your tubes are good forever. They're good forever. <laughs> I mean, literally. Mostly how I play. I have a master yeah. or even the Fender's. Twins and stuff that I play. Like I'm, I'm not running them past four because I'd be deaf. I mean, you're running them probably like on two most of the time. Most right? of the time, I'm running you know, two. So rock. Two is the maximum volume. You're not, you're not eating up tubes now. If you're Brian May and you run AC thirties on ten all night long every night, yeah, you, you probably eat some tubes. Yeah, but yeah, so probably killing your amp too because <laughs> AC thirties blow up when you do that. But whatever. So, so don't panic no. if you're out no. of tubes and like you don't have any in your home. It, it's okay. You probably don't need any. When, when, when the, it kicks the bed though, it's gonna, it's a bummer. And you know it's not a horrible idea to have an extra spare set. Of well, tubes. you're talking about having like an extra quad set. Well, well, you know, somebody that's more knowledgeable, you can tell me why I'm wrong about this in the in the comments. But it seems to me like my amp that runs EL 34s only takes a pair, and I'm like, why could I not just buy a matched quartet instead of a a pair, and then I'd have two more that were the same that I didn't have to buy anything that I could just slam them in there if something goes wrong. I feel like that's right logic but i feel like i could be wrong so i don't know you know like when like you stare at the sun too long yeah and, like it sort of burns yeah. a little thing in your eye yeah i like what derek just showed me a minute ago like just kept popping back and they're like it's like the top what, part of my right what did eye derek show you back <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say it was just it was a picture that was horrifying if you notice <laughs> if you notice us laughing if you watch to the end of the video before this and you notice us laughing there was a reason that's all i'm gonna say yeah it's um so, oh, so, so don't panic. Don't don't go panic by tubes. There's nothing to buy right now anyway. They're literally out everywhere. And, and the, one of the only reasons we're talking about shortages too is because Jack White had a cool statement yep, to the record labels out there. Like, because there's a vinyl shortage right now too, and he's got Third Man Records where he prints records. And he's like, his quote was, "If you're not part of the problem, solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem." I was like, "Wait, there's something. If you're part, you, you no, you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution." There you go. Because I knew problem was first. I was like, "I'm so confused." But um, yeah, you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. And he's like sort of like saying, hey, labels, why don't you guys get involved in this vinyl thing too and like actually start printing vinyl again instead of just me. That um, would be super like cool, right? Because like records are coming back. Like I kind of want to get a record player again. I want to get one of those like fancy ones. We Mine is not fancy, but we listen to records in my house all the time. And it's just fun. There's something fun, fun about going over to the little stack and put, putting on the records. And then like it's in the whole house and the TV's off, right? The kids are listening to decent music. 
I know, because you're not going to buy records of like, you know, kids bops or something. God, no. Can you imagine? We do have all these old like 60s or 70s like Disney records that are really weird. But If you no. own kid bops vinyl, will you please take a picture and email it to us or something just so we can see this? The Wiggles. Greatest hits on vinyl. I would love the Wiggles. I, ha I, I have some of like the old grandparents, not mine, but like my wife's like records and it's some insane stuff. Insane. There's some... I'm not going to say who it was. It's some crazy records. I'm just going to say shout out to our buddy Ben, who is awesome and loves the Wiggles. Oh, cool. That's a good shout out. I like that shout out. Just oh. made me think. I just thought about him when I was thinking about that. I actually forgot. I wasn't listening to what you said at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, Ben yeah. loves the Wiggles. He would have the, the Wiggles. You know, you know another person who reminds me of the Wiggles I give a shout yeah. out to is like a, he's an Instagram buddy. Um, Ohms in Hawaii. Check there out, you go. Check out Ohms, so, uh, his channel on Instagram. It's really good. It's like the amount of work he puts in there to really showcase like, Cool, like affordable guitars and the most pristine environment you'll ever see. It is pretty amazing. He's in Hawaii. He's this beautiful man. You'll never see his face. No, nope, sadly, know a little bit about it's it. It's a loss to the world. No, it honestly. is. He's, he's gorgeous, like he's gorgeous. Thor-like creature. With I think that's why he does it. He feels he's he feels bad. But check out him putting that much beauty. Well, out the reason I bring that up is because he reminds me of like a Hawaiian Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> like the because. Because they just they were gonna wear their silly outfits. He's just wearing some cool shorts and just chill out his hat, his long hair, just crush hair over his head. Yeah, and check his that face. out. But yeah, records are sort of short too. And then the one I mentioned too, the pedal chips. I think there's like a fire or something. What happened there? I think so. Well, I mean, there's just yeah, there's just. I mean, a lot of it is still just supply chain issues, right? So what happens if here we go. go? Worst case scenario here. Yes. Start digging your bunkers, your tone bunkers. Uh, here we. Go. I know where we're going. <laughs> Let's say. That tube amps, we can't get tubes for like a prolonged period. A good year. A good year, right? So even if it cranks back up, there's a shortage. Can't get them. But there's also chip shortages. So suddenly your Kempers and your Helixes and your Impero 2s, whatever you're, you're using, can't get those either. Can't have chips for pedals. Like what are, what are we going to do? You know what you're going to have to do? Play the stuff you have. <laughs> You're not going to buy new things. And somebody's going to be like, hey, well, my tube my amp went out. Well, that's kind of up shit creek. <sighs> but you probably have an acoustic guitar. Damn it. You're going to have to, I know, Jonathan. I know you have one. You're going to have to play Maybe. it more than when you just play like your little gigs out there in the world. You're going to have to play it for fun. <laughs> I have not even playing it for those. <laughs> I'm doing my weird hybrid electric rig thing. More. I know. That's why you need a Languidoc, too. We can have Languidoc <sighs> pairs. God, that'd be amazing. That'd be, and then Derek and I could get... The um, cyber trucks matching, and then we'll have Languidox. Or I think we need to get baritones before we get Languidox. I, I would enjoy the, the a Casadosa nice, baritones. A nice baritone. I'm gonna have one. He just sent me a picture of the um, the sparkle body. He just finished painting that one. Casino yellow sparkle. That's not what this is, but pretty much it is. It's a gold sparkle. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's, it's secret. It's coming here, and if you're interested, just let us know. That I think it will be for sale. Yeah, I wasn't even gonna mention that, but that just happened. It'll sell the minute we get it. I'm sure it's. As they all have so far. I mean, or um, hours before we can even think about them. So back to your crazy, play what you have. Play what you have. Don't buy another thing. You probably have something. This is horrible advice for a guitar shop to give out. I, I, <laughs> so, I mean, no, that, buy more guitars. But <laughs> well, that's the thing with the manufacturers get confused with us because I remember that one conversation we had with the one manufacturer. It's like, what are you, a guitar shop or a YouTube channel? You have to make a choice. This is before like people liked our YouTube eh. channel. That's this is true. It was like seven of, subscribers. It yeah, was fine. We had like you know we had more than that, but still. we had like yeah, we had twelve subscribers I think at that point. It doesn't. And I don't even I don't even care how if it's twelve or twenty thousand or thirty or forty or fifty or sixty or hundred. It's, it's the same conversation. It's like we just love talking guitars. We do, and we put our foot in our mouths, our collective mice. We do frequently. I call mouths plurals mice and my <laughs> mice. It's hard to say mice. Mice. It's a hard word to say. Mice. Yeah. Um, no, I think just enjoy what you have. Like, I don't know, there's just used things are there. No. I know, you could buy like a used amp or a used pedal or... <laughs> Maybe for a premium, but still. <laughs> it will be for a premium. Used stuff is already crazy too. Um, I'm not getting into prices though. But you know, it w I mean, there is that thing there where you, you, can, you can play what you have. Play what you, you got for a bit. Practice. You can play electric guitar without being plugged in. I do that a lot at home. I do it all the time. I love it as much as plugged in sometimes. I kind of do too sometimes. Because I don't have to worry about like people bothering me. I they don't know what I'm doing. That's true. Because we have kids and wives and stuff at home. Yeah. And they if they find out you're there, they will find you and have you do something. The best is like on the weekends when you finish oh. working. They're like, I got this project I want to do. <sighs> good. I would, I would love to help. That'd be good. Let's 
let's clean the whole house in the gutters right now. That's, that's what I wanted to do. God, right those now. things are... Life is weird. My yard's staring at me. I feel like it's, it's atrocious. <laughs> All my bushes, kind of like your hair. Um, oh, that was me. <laughs> that was really, I, I, a haircut is coming soon, I think. I want to do something wild and crazy. I have this funny idea, so it's going to be bad. Because <laughs> I, when I go to the hair guy, I got this hair guy who will do my hair. He's, I've known him for years. And he, I always walk, he's like, Baxter, what do you want to do? I'm like, I always make up some outrageous thing. <laughs> and then he just does and it. It's like, kind of great. I'll be like, I'll say, I want to be a rooster on fire. I, literally, that's what I say. Or say, I want to be like, you know, like a, a ridiculous clown fascist. And he'll be like, gotcha. And then it's just, then he'll just do stuff. I'm like, cool. And I was like, can you make it look worse? And he's like, oh, yes. <laughs> or I just cut it myself and put it in the toilet and horrify my wife. It's a horror show. Either way. I well, just, you told a story one time about putting your like your hair you cut in like a melted candy bar. No, I do like a little melted, like the mini Snickers or three Here's I microwave it for a second. I put it on top. I take out the wrapper, obviously, because I'm, I'm not a monster. I put it on top of the hair in the toilet. It's and a don't horrible, flush it. horrible so thing. It melts into the hair. <laughs> it looks like an, like an aborted like Chewbacca. Baby. <laughs> I didn't know uh, it's uh, horrible. It's a, I regret bringing it up. And, yeah, I, don't, and no. I don't flush it. I leave it there for my wife or children to find and scream. It smells nice, like chocolate. <laughs> if you want to take the extra step, you get a little bit on a spray bottle and you spray the sides. <laughs> you get the, or you just get like the, the Hershey's chocolate and you spray the sides and it starts to come uh, down. It's just, living with me is not a good idea. And I discourage it to any sane woman. My poor wife. My I kids like, think it's great. Like it's pretty much like she has... Three sons and me, so she's got four kids. It's fun. It's okay, though. I'm the worst, because I know how to do the tricks the best. There you go. I'm a terrible person. You heard I, it here. I mean, so I think you don't panic on the shortages. It's, it, it, will come, it will come out of this. And tubes, you don't need to buy that many tubes. Support the vinyl push that Jack did there. I think that's yep, cool. It's I, cool. I think vinyls are coming back. Chips, like if you've got a great pedal like, and you're thinking about selling it, but you're not sure, don't sell it right now. Hang on to it. Just Maybe we're going to mine it for chips later. <laughs> Chip mining. <laughs> is this how we're going to do the new um, Bitcoin stuff, currency mining? It's sort of like Start when you find an old house pedals. and you strip all the copper out. Wait, no. <sighs> that happened to um, some friends of mine in Ohio. That's happened to me. God, so it's always Ohio, yeah. I feel like, too. And it was near Akron. Or Richmond County. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I know. It's an, an old, old house. We had an old house. I guess so sad. And then we'll, we'll leave them. And I was watching this, um, this friends of mine. They were talking about there was a classical instrument recital they were showing at the university up in Ohio. And like, check it out, it's a great recital, everyone will. And it showed like a picture of the audience, and there was no, literally no one was in the audience. And I was like, huh. It was like the, it was like the teachers judging and stuff. I was like, this is just, I don't know. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from those people? Basically? I want there to be an audience. Was there a line dance? No. You're not going to have an if audience. If you haven't in been to a tuba concerto concert or a solo tuba concert, you need to go. It's awesome and hilarious, all in its own right. And again, I've talked about it earlier in other things. Watch Peacemaker, just for the intro I, alone. I still need to watch it. You, we're gonna watch the intro again later, just to bring joy to our lives. Eagly, is it Eagly? Eagly, Eagly. Eagly is, is, and there's. I won't <sighs> give too. I'm not gonna give it anyway. But there's a there's a there's an eagle hug scene. This is the best trained eagle in all of history. Okay. I mean, I can't imagine it. there's too many trained eagles. This is the best one ever. Okay. That's all. Take me home. All right. Bye. I think we said it. But hit like, subscribe, click the bell. We will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with us. Everyone send Derek some love too. He needs it. He does. He's had a tough week. It's true. He's got family in town. <laughs> Indefinitely. <Always rough. laughs> Good night.